Hello, my name is Ricard Nilsson and I'm a PhD student of linguistics at Karlstad University, Sweden, where I study the relationship between language and thought. We know that some languages have detailed and multifaceted ways of describing certain phenomena, while other languages might have few or even no comparable ways of doing the same. Cognitive linguists believe that these kind of differences affect our thoughts. So based on this hypothesis is my research project, which focuses on how three different languages namely British English, Castilian Spanish and Swedish, deal with motion expressions. Specifically, the within language variability of path of motion framing. <laughs> now, what on earth does this mean? Well, in short, languages have different means and affordances when it comes to how path of motion is expressed. Path of motion, by the way, is this, where a man is walking towards a door. The path towards the door and the motion in that direction is his path of motion. Some languages mostly express path of motion through adverbial particles. These are called satellite frame languages, and Swedish and English belong here. Here's an example. Anton walks through the park. The word through is an adverbial particle that denotes path of motion. Other languages, like Spanish for instance, instead do the same thing in the main verb of the sentence, and these are called verb frame languages. Subimos por las escaleras. The verb subir encodes path of motion here. However, this is a known generalization, and no language is in reality this simple. So, while English is considered a satellite frame language, it has a set of Latin adverbs that denote path of motion, such as cross or enter, thus allowing for verb frame constructions. You can see an example here, where the underlined word is a Latin adverb. Likewise, while Spanish is a verb frame language, it has a system of satellite like verb particles, such as adelante, forward, or abajo, downward, that encode path of motion. In the example here, the underlined word is a satellite. So, centrally, and very important to my project, some languages allow for more variability than others when it comes to path of motion framing. So English, for instance, is known to be highly variable in this regard. And Spanish too, but perhaps to a lesser extent. And Swedish is comparatively rigid to both languages, as it has almost no variability at all. So my theory is that these Variability differences affect entrenchment, which takes place in our minds. That is, the amount of permitted variability likely affects our patterns of thought or behavior, or expressed differently, how people organize categories of information and the relationship between them in their minds. I aim to uncover how the underpinnings of these languages shape the language user's cognitive and behavioral patterns, something which I believe is of utmost importance not only for language education, but also for machine translation, for instance. So thank you very much for listening.